Yo, Akash, what's happening, baby? How you feeling, baby? What's up, Jack Thriller? How you doing? Man, I'm out here, man. Dog, you you like the second Indian on this show right here, man. Who was the first? Rasika. Oh, I'm wilding out. I thought you meant this. Rasika been on This Is 50? No, no, no. Rasika ain't never been on, on This here. Is 50? Am I killing that shit? And man, you killing it right now, man. Killing that shit. How you get on this show, Represent. man? Where you uh, come from? Rasika left, and they needed an Indian. And, uh... <laughs> Yo, this is Akash Singh. You're watching This Is 50.com. Yeah. I'm that paper chasing money making hustler nigga you know how I get down big dreams big bags of bread big money how do you feel now you a cast me my own wild and out it's, it's incredible. season six it's incredible it's a blessing what do your people say my, my people don't know who the fuck I am yet uh, <laughs> but they hopefully about to find out I'm trying to represent us you know what I mean uh, but uh though that first here's the thing I don't know if anybody's talked about this the first week you come here they they go through all the games and like make sure you know them backwards and forwards like you know what I mean just so you're ready for everything and it's so different than stand up which is what I do that and some of these dudes are such monsters Emmanuel Chico just monsters I was super like I lost confidence every single day that entire week and then when we got out and started filming episodes it was like all right now I'm just being a stand up again now I'm on stage but that shit was so hard you know that's just you've been there yeah I've been there making up songs on the spot I don't know how to do that about fake asses if you want to see your break it down and bend it over and twerk more just come to the bar you take her home and she gonna start more yo so like what was you say that's the highlight of your you being on this show um being on tv <laughs> bottom line huh? yeah. i don't know i mean it's fun it's always fun well everything is fun everybody's cool but the highlight is getting on the motherfucking stage and performing and being on tv and be like the world is gonna see this when i say nick cannon what do you think about man let me tell you something that kind of annoys me is like people try to act like on the cast and stuff cast mates of mine will try to act like they're friends with nick and i hate that shit so much you ain't friends with this dude not because nick is cool super cool super down to earth but i can't be friends with you if i don't understand your life I can't even comprehend Nick Cannon's life. You know what I'm saying? I go home to an apartment in Brooklyn with an alcoholic roommate. Nick Cannon goes home to Mariah fucking Carey. You can't comprehend that life. This dude has small talk with Mariah fucking Carey. He's just such a fucking boss, man. You can't, like, I'm in awe of it. I literally, like, comics are very analytical. So I'll just sit there and for, like, five minutes, I'll be like, this dude's life is insane. He's such a beast. It's crazy. He's the, literally the one guy who could look at Jay-Z and be like, I mean, whatever, dog. You know what I mean? My wife did what Beyonce did. It is what it is. <laughs> With her own hair. <laughs> Come on now. Wow. Yo, Akash, what do you want ultimately for yourself? I mean, I think any comedian doing it should want to be the greatest comedian ever. Um, I want to work like I want to be the greatest comedian ever. I work, I think I work really, really hard, but there's that extra inch I want to start, I would need to take. Um, but I want to be the greatest, man. I don't want to stop. Gosh, if you could do this all over again, would you change anything? I would be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to my mom and dad. <laughs> Even though you're doing your thing, you feel like you're wasting did, his life. No, but here's the thing, I, and I, I'm very confident in my ability as a stand-up, but, <laughs> but you don't know the struggle. <laughs> it is the to be a struggle. starving comedian. Six, I'm, I'm what, seven years deep now, and I've been booed off stage. I, I went through a year and a half, two years of bombing. I got to deal with loud shit like that on stage. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. It's just a fucking struggle, man. If I was med school, I wouldn't make as much money or be as happy, but there wouldn't be the unhappiness that I experienced. You don't know the fucking misery of getting booed off stage and then going home to a mattress on the floor with mice running by your face all night. That shit is not worth it, they Jack don't Thriller. They get it. They don't get it. They Follow your dreams. Follow you shut the fuck up and graduate uh, fucking med school and do what you got to do. Don't be a fool. Stay in school. Gosh, is there anything you want to tell the people of this fit before we get about you? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, check me out. Um, support me. Pay me. Uh, watch Wild and Out season six. It's super fun. Everybody's super talented. Uh, don't be a comedian. Um, your dreams ain't worth. They ain't shit. Uh, you know what I mean? Just go to school. That's basically what I'm saying. Go read a book right now. Fuck everything else. I don't even really believe in books, but if it can make you money, do that shit. Hey, like I always say, you just can't say you're real or something. You got to be a man of cost. Season six, wild and out. We, are, we out of real. Hey, do I have something in my eye? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Boom. All my strap on me. Ranks on me. And 
this hole in the wall club with a hundred packs on me, got the goons out. You know we don't do much, catch you coming out the club if you do it too much. Couple Cubans on my neck, smoking a Cuban on a jet, on my way to collect from niggas that's losing bitch.